So, Dr. Meemark, you put out a public health alert today. What prompted that action? Well, you know, it wasn't very long ago that we spoke and um, I was noticing a, a big increase in our, our numbers that we were seeing as well as um, the positivity rate. And I, I know that we had talked about it previously and uh, um, I was able to take a look at the, by week by week, look at the, the rates. And um, I don't know if you remember, but a few months ago we had talked about that 10% mark, you know, in a, a community and, you know, what kind of spread you would be having and everything. And so we had passed that mark last week. And so um, I had to run all the data that um, of the um, positive uh, cases that had come in. And um, so we saw that and had been steadily increasing. So um, I corresponded with the hospitals and a lot more alerts came in. So we're seeing some very high emergency room um, visits as well as um, inpatient stays. And, and now even some um, ICU uh, beds are really being taken up. And so uh, before we head into this weekend, I just wanted to make sure everybody knew what was happening in their community and that we had some substantial spread. So that's why I um, put the alert out today. And you and I had talked about this before, but uh, we'd heard the refrain, we're seeing more positive cases because we're testing more people. But as you mentioned, the stats don't work out to make that true. Yeah, so you, you can get more positive cases if you test more. But when you're looking at that, um, the percent that come back positive, when you get that number that goes up too, there means that there's definitely more community spread that's happening. So, you know, so I'll give you an example. So if I had, um, you know, four people that came out positive from 100 and I tested another 100, let's say I did 200 and I had 4%, four people that came back positive, then that would only be 2%, right? But if I do four and then I, I do 200 people and let's say I get 20 positive, well, that's a 10% rate. So that's a much higher transmission. So, you know, so testing more is okay as long as you don't start getting more of the, um, the rate that comes back positive. Right. And there's a bit of good news in your alert, the fact that our death rate, despite the increased positivity rate, the death rate continues to decline. Yeah, a little bit. And so there could be several explanations for that. So one is, you know, we do have a younger crowd that doesn't, um, isn't getting as sick as, um, as the previous uh, group, the older group crowd, the 50 to 70 year olds, right? So it could be that we're getting a lot more people that are positive that are asymptomatic or that are not getting as sick. Now, the caveat to that is we are seeing an increase in hospitalization rates and of, of ICU use. So we pray that that does not, um, you know, end up being more deaths. So right now we're okay, but um, we're watching that as well. So you had um, some concerns about the upcoming 4th of July weekend. What are you asking people to do? Well, I want you to be aware of what's going on in your own community. So, you know, we have greater spread and that's, you know, just from different fra factors, from reopening, from, you know, um, mass gatherings, from um, people not wearing masks as well. So different factors are contributing. And so when you go into the weekend, I was just hoping that people know that, listen, we have a lot more cases, a lot more young people are getting it. And so what can you do? So just be aware, be aware that you need to socially distance six feet away wear your mask and continue to wash your hands and avoid mass gatherings, stay home when you're sick. All those things that we've been telling you over and over again, because as it keeps skyrocketing, then we don't have a whole lot of other things you can do, right? And does the fact that it's a, a younger age group that seems to be affected more recently, does that tell you anything? Um, you know, mostly it tells me that they're the ones that are out and about and, uh, um, you know, maybe not wearing masks as well. I I'm praying that um, because we don't have as many elderly people that I hope they have been a little bit more conservative and, um, and not going out as much. And so I just didn't want people to be complacent and then say, hey, it's 4th of July. I've been, you know, in and I can go out and go ahead and go to those parties and stuff like that. So I just wanted to make sure that people were aware and maybe think twice, if you, especially if you have a lot of medical conditions or if you were, you're elderly, that maybe just still be cautious. Your main goal by putting this alert out is just to, like you said, let people know what, what's happening in their community. 
Yes, and what you can do, just remind people, it's not like it was a month ago. We had less than 5% positivity at that point. We got a lot more people that are positive now. All right, well, I appreciate it. And we'll put your complete uh, public health alert with all the, the statistics and all the advice on there on our website at CobbCounty.org. And I know you have it on your website as well, Cobb and Douglas Public Health.org. Um, so we just wish everybody to be uh, safe this weekend and good health. Please. Thank you. Thanks to everybody and please be safe.